guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review of Soundless by Rochelle Mead. I requested this book for review from Penguin. Soundless is marketed as a YA fantasy about a girl named Faye who lives in a Chinese-inspired society. She is a part of a village that is on top of a mountain where everybody is deaf, and they are a mining community, and they send down minerals and materials and stuff to the bottom of the mountain, and the bottom of the mountain sends food back. So slowly, a lot of people in the population are also going blind. And because of this, they're not able to mine as much. So the people at the bottom of the mountain tell them that they're not going to send as much food. So basically, their village is dying. So her and another character end up going down the mountain to try to figure out what's going on and try to help their village. So as far as world building, as I said in my synopsis description, it is marketed as a YA fantasy. I don't believe that it is a YA fantasy. This definitely reads more dystopian. If I would have known that it was dystopian, I might not have picked it up because I do not generally tend to like dystopians anymore. Definitely take that into account if you are interested in this book. If you are a huge fan of dystopians, you might like it a little more than I did, but generally speaking, I have a lot of problems with this book. One is the way that it's marketed. It's also said to be kind of Chinese inspired while it is that element isn't really explored enough or at all for me. There are a lot of elements of Chinese culture that could have been explored in here and brought in in a fantasy element kind of way, and the few things that were brought in weren't brought in for very long. The fantasy element of the book is in the last 30 or so pages, I would say, if that, and so that left me with kind of a bad taste in my mouth because I was went in expecting a fantasy and I got very little fantasy, much more dystopian. As far as the characters, I found all of them to be fairly bland. I have actually trouble remembering some of their names and I only read it this past month. I liked our main character, but I also felt like I, there was nothing really different about her. She seemed very typical. She had kind of like a blank face protagonist to me, and I felt the same way about the love interest. While I didn't hate the romance, it's like a pre-page one, they have a history kind of thing, and I usually tend to like that, but I didn't feel anything for them. They just feel very bland, very like, okay, they, are they gonna get together? Don't really care. Like, it's, it's fine. There's also some familial relationships that are explored, but again, very bland. I didn't really find myself caring that much. So overall, all of the characters felt very flat, very boring, very one-dimensional for me. Lastly, the plot, I found this to be a very typical kind of dystopian plot line that I knew what was going to happen, I knew it was coming, and there were things that were explained that I just were like, I don't really care, this is the same kind of dystopian in a different kind of fantasy, you know, Chinese twisted package. And it was very short, for a standalone, and I think that had a lot of problems too because things weren't really explored, things were more told to the characters than actually shown to the characters, which is a thing that I really don't enjoy within books, and I just could predict everything. So I found myself skim reading the last half, 40% of the book, because I just knew what was happening. I didn't need all the little in-betweens, all the little like relationship kind of things happening. I already knew what was going to happen, I knew where it was going, so I just really needed that last little chunk of the book that had a little fantasy element in it and twist, and that was it. So overall, I found myself not caring about this book. I didn't think that the writing was particularly strong. I found the writing to be very simplistic and just very generic, and I think Rochelle May can do a lot better. I've heard good things about her books. I've not read anything else besides this, but I've heard really amazing things about her books, that they're fun and engaging and the characters are great, and I just didn't find that with this. So I was left really disappointed with this book, and overall I gave it one star. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of Soundless. Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you guys soon. Bye!